Welcome to Friday Fun Day. As we look forward to the weekend, we can find ourselves looking for something new. You are invited to join us here at A Place of Faith where each week we offer a new idea or perspective for you to consider. We at A Place of Faith are delighted to share the path of spiritual enlightenment and the evolution of consciousness with you. Our intention is to share content with you that encourages interests and expands the horizons of your journey. Our mission is to create a safe place to explore and develop personal spiritual connections and relationships. Our vision is the joyous, loving acceptance of all people as an expression of divine spirit and the ongoing evolution of consciousness to oneness. All are welcome here. Hi, thank you so much for joining us at A Place of Faith as we celebrate Friday and help to turn it into a fun day. Today is kind of special because it's Black Friday. Well, by this time, you've already made your Black Friday plans as you enjoy the afterglow of whatever your Thanksgiving celebration was. Whether you were with family or celebrating a day by yourself, being grateful for all that is around you and all that you have. Perhaps you were up at midnight and rushing to the stores and shopping and getting a jump on your Christmas shopping, your Christmas celebration. So what I want to talk about as far as making the rest of the day a fun day is shopping locally. Tomorrow, Saturday, is what's known as Small Business Saturday. And the reason that was created was to remind us to shop locally. Black Friday has been taken over by the super chains, stores opening up even on Thanksgiving a day early to give you their sales. It's interesting that Black Friday originated long before the stores commercialized it. Black Friday was named Black Friday because So many people all over the world were calling in sick on Friday after having Thanksgiving Day off to enjoy a four-day weekend. Employers expected to be understaffed because of Black Friday. Well, the commercial stores jumped right on it and advertised it, and we've been watching sales. But what doesn't get so much take is what I was talking about before, Small Business Saturday. Look around you. Even today, we have small businesses, whether it's a restaurant or a butcher shop, a sandwich shop, a gift shop, all around us that are owned locally. Honestly, a lot of these businesses did not survive COVID. And the ones that are still there, some of them are fighting to survive. So take a look around you. Maybe it's a thrift store. Maybe it's an antique store. Is there something you can do to support them? Can you buy locally and support the businesses around you? We know that the people running those businesses are the people in our neighborhood. Their kids go to school with our kids. They're trying to really make a living and offer a service to the community. But if the community doesn't step up, and support them, the business doesn't make it. Also, looking around your community for crafters. There are so many ways to find them. Sometimes there are stores in the neighborhood that take things on consignment. If you go in and look, often they'll have the name and contact information of the person who crafted. Send them an email. Ask them what else they've got in their inventory. I once lived in a small town in Southern California where there was a Facebook page that you could look up and people would post all of their crafts. They'd have pictures and what they were doing. That year, I found a woman who was making fudge. Two or three times a week, she would post on Facebook what her flavors were going to be for the day. You could put in your order, which I did often. My family loves fudge, and I didn't want to have to make it. 
And then we would go and meet in the library parking lot, and she would deliver the fudge. It was wonderful. It was so much fun. The family loved it. I didn't have to cook it or clean up after it. And they got so many new little treats that they wouldn't have had all through the Christmas season. A lot of social media offers opportunities for crafters to post what they're creating. Look it up, take a look. And if you are a crafter, see if there aren't ways that you can advertise. I know that what you're making would be a wonderful, wonderful addition to so many people's Christmas holiday season. Personally, I've bought handmade wreaths that I could order the color and what I wanted on it, even if it had plaques that I wanted to say. It, the crafter was able to do that for me. They were beautiful. They were inexpensive. I've had cross-stitch gifts that I've still got up on the wall that I personally have been given and that I've been able to give to friends. When we buy locally and support each other, everybody wins. And we end up offering gifts that the department stores, the big places can't offer. They can't sell. People who are crafting are putting their heart and soul into those crafts we get to benefit from their work and share it and pass it along. So often homemade gifts become heirlooms that travel through the family. I hope these ideas have encouraged you to make this Friday an especially fun day. Enjoy the world, be kind, and remember you are loved, you are sacred. And you matter. Namaste. Follow us on Facebook for daily meditations, prayers, and all of our videos. If you know of anyone anywhere who is struggling with spirituality or who wants a spiritual community, please share our videos. Commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing are also ways to support us and help us grow. Reverend Linda is available by phone, Facebook Messenger, or Zoom conference for spiritual and ministerial counseling, guidance, and direction on a love offering basis. She can be reached through a place of faith at SohoMail.com or through Unity Church of El Cajon. A place of faith is sponsored by Unity Church of El Cajon at 311 Highland Avenue, El Cajon, California, 92020. You can send donations there. Just put APOF on the check, or you can also contact us through our website at www.unityofelcajon.org and make your donations on the website. Thank you for your support.